Wow! What a speech! Yeah, definitely, you know. Are you interrupting me? No, I didn't mean huh. to. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Tonight Show. I'm your host, Cliffy Neal, and with us tonight is James Lazaro. Lazaro. James, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, you know, I'm James Lazaro. Okay, first question. The man, Charlie Chaplin, gained worldwide recognition without saying a word. How do you think his fans in the cinema world reacted to his transition to the silent film? Well, from the perspective of a Chaplin fan in the 50s, you know, I, I would have been really shocked only because the Tramp had dialogue the whole movie. Although Chaplin did not play the Tramp, the movie was still very transcendent, you know, just in the way it was filmed. And at the time, people thought it was a really racy film. But now, people think it's the creme de la creme, the risk-taking film that changed cinema forever. I didn't ask you about the plot. I'm sorry, I was just speaking my mind. Next question. The cinematic world sees the film as the creme de la creme, the risk-taking film that charged the cinema. That wasn't even a question, you're just restating what I said. Next question. Chaplin played two distinct characters, Heinkel the Jewish barber, Heinkel the dictator to mania. How well does Chaplin play these roles? Well, Chaplin gives personality to the character and he expresses it in a genius way, you know, just a way that Heinkel has no alter ego, no regard to act anyone different but himself, you know. You can tell he's himself from the part Heinkel gets the gets ready for his speech and he's still that innocent Jewish barber clothed in someone that is not him. Are you even listening to me? No, I'm playing called. Wanna play? No, I wanna do this interview. Moving forward. James. Yeah? Why are you here? What? Next question. How did the dictator speech make you film? Is this a serious question? Yep. You're not gonna cut me off. Hmm. Oh, okay, well, it, it made me feel very empowered. It, what he was saying not just spoke to me, it spoke to the whole world. It, it nurtured me into some type of soul that I can understand and feel a way that I could just be myself. You know, I never felt so shocked, so excited, and so anxious all in one in my life since the first time I heard it. And it made me speak to the angels, and the angels spoke back to me. Through that speech, every color, every sex, Every gender, every capability, and every age united as one. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom? It felt right. Well, that is all the time we have with us tonight. Thank you, James Lazarus, for joining with us this evening. Lazaro, Lazaro I care not. We hope to see you soon. Good night, Canada!